All right, we got a 372 XP non-X torque. A little background on this saw. It was rebuilt from a whole pile of about 15 other saws. Uh, it's all OEM. Uh, everything, like I said, is built from scrap. The only thing that I've done to it is it's got a dual port muffler on it that I did. It's got a 288 deflector for the second port, stock port for the first. It's got an unlimited coil. Uh, it's tuned to 14K with a tack. Uh, it's got the large OEM Husqvarna uh, dogs on it, and then it's got a Carlton speed tip 28 inch, uh, 3 8 pitch 50 gauge. The only thing with this bar is it's a steel mount, got the adapter on it. Uh, the chain on it is a Woodland Pro 30RC skip tooth, and then I converted it from round file to uh, square chisel and filed it with a double bevel uh, chisel file. Uh, See, that's about all there is on this saw. Uh, no porting done to it, nothing done to the carburetor, nothing done to the timing. Uh, oh, it does have an 8T sprocket on it. It's got an Oregon 8T sprocket. Uh, don't let the looks fool you. This is an old saw. Like I said, it's rebuilt. We're sawing on uh, about a year old windblown hemlock here. And we'll see how this goes. One thing I will say about this is uh, I've been trying to get it tuned in still. We've uh, had I had some trouble with it, four stroking real bad. And uh, small wood leaned it out, still trying to get the carburetor dialed in on it. Uh, the bar's a little short there. Should have brought my 32. Uh, other than that, I had some trouble at the end there. Couldn't get the dog to stick in. I had some dirt in my way, so I had to let it sit without the dogs in it. But other than that, it's pretty good. And, the chain, I will say, before I rocked the P out of it, uh, I had to resharpen it. It's not the greatest. Uh, rakers are down probably a little bit more than two thousandths or twenty-five thousandths. Uh, probably a little bit more, probably close to thirty, thirty-five for cut firewood without docking it in. But it pulls it pretty good and has quite a bit of power for just that regular stuff. If anyone thinks about doing that, it's easy. It was eleven bucks for the deflector and. 
three dollars for the sheet metal screws cut the muffler out for dremel tool and uh, unlimited coil went on easy uh, makes it run way better i wouldn't run this over 14,000. between 13.5 and 13.8 is what i like 14 is what i have it set right now uh, 14 is about the most i'd go uh, without porting the cylinder or decking the cylinder or anything like that uh, and that AT sprocket makes a lot of difference versus a 7 tooth and stuff like this. It pulls it fine, but thanks for watching.